What's up, Alta family? Thanks for joining us for another episode of On The Lift With. I'm Colton Rice, and today we have a pretty special guest, Joe Johnson. What's, What's up, up guys? You guys? You guys might recognize Joe from pretty much every other episode of On The <laughs> Lift With, um, but today we, uh, we flipped the script, and uh, interesting enough, I am now doing Joe's job, and Joe is now being interviewed by me. It's perfect. Perfect. Um, so Joe, you kind of had this position for what three or four years before I was here. How many years was it? Four seasons. Four seasons. I graduated from the University of Alta. Did how, what was your grade? Did you get a good grade? I feel like I did. I feel like I, I at least passed. Honor roll, maybe. Got a pass. I passed. That Got a pass. My, that was my goal. Was to pass. That's good. It's yeah. a good goal. Um, so what are you up to now? Um, I'm now the uh, North American marketing manager on the outdoor side for Salmon, so I do free ski, hiking, and mountaineering. Ooh, yeah. All right, cool, man. I think it's pretty safe to say, though, that our gig up here at Alta was pretty amazing. It was pretty amazing. Uh, yeah. You know, I definitely miss this place. It has a soft spot. I have a soft spot in my heart for Alta, and also that office down at the base of the Wildcat chair. We've it's got it pretty view. good. <laughs> that view is pretty awesome. Yes. For but sure. It's a little closet that looks straight at Collins Lift, so you can see all your buddies and throw your boots on and jump out. Definitely. <laughs> Being here for so long, well, I guess four years isn't that long, but you you kind of got the rundown with with all the athletes taking you around, showing you all the hits, yep. all the secret stashes. What do you think is your favorite run, or or I guess favorite area at Alta, maybe? Um. That's such a good question, and I remember asking that all the time. I would say I love me and Eddie's High Nowhere, when you can get it right off the bat. Uh, but a classic that will never get old is High Boy. Um, oh, yeah. And then one area that I don't think gets enough love here, mostly because you work the crap out of your left hip on the way up there, is East Castle. Yeah. I mean, if you get East Castle towards the beginning of the crowd and you get that first run down, it's pretty awesome. I did that sidestep the other day. I was hurting. Yeah. It was long. It I is might long. I might bring skins next time. Definitely. Skins. <laughs> for sure. Um, sweet. So you've probably you've probably thrown down Apre pretty good here in, in four years and, and being the social guy that you are. Where uh, where's your Apre beer of choice being served up? My Apre beer of choice would definitely be the P Dog. You know, much love to the P Dog. It's about as classic as you can get uh, when it comes to ski bars. It's the only true ski bar in Little Cottonwood Canyon. But coming in a close second, I would definitely give some love to the Sitzmark as well. You know, they got solid bartenders, a more mellow vibe. Like if that's where, you know, if you're looking to impress a girl or something like that <laughs> who's not into a rowdy scene at the P-Dog, take them to the Sitzmark, it's probably their best bet. The Sitz is classy. It is. And it smells it nice, like cinnamon. Yeah, it smells the opposite of the P-Dog. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't have a polar bear rug. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. So where do you grab a bite to eat at Alta? Where's your favorite spot to get some food? I mean, anybody who knows me knows that I spend way too much time and money at Alta Java. So, I mean, it's kind of been a blessing in disguise not to work here anymore because I'm saving so much money by not buying infinity amount of Susie's per month. So definitely Alta Java, a Susie's, and a pumpkin bread for a snack. Um, pizza at the GMD at the end of the day is always money, and yeah. those nachos are pretty solid as well. So Joe, now that you don't work at Alta anymore, I mean, we, we still kind of see you up here all the time, and, I, and obviously, like you said earlier, the Alta has a special special place in your heart, but you know, aside from working here at one point, like, why do you keep coming back? I think, you know, Alta's a very special place. And for each person, it's different. But there is something about this place that will always keep everybody coming back because it's so unique. And for me, um, you know, my four years here, the amount of awesome people that I met, that I met, is what will keep bringing me back. You know, there's so many interesting people here, so many great people. It truly is like a family up here. And that's, I mean, that's pretty key. You never come up here, and you never get to ski Alto alone, really. You have to work to ski by yourself at Alto. You know, you come up here by yourself. And then you get in the lift line, you see a bunch of people, and the next thing you know, you're skiing with a posse. And I think that's pretty cool. You don't get that pretty much any other place. Um, 
you know, obviously the snow's here, and there's always going to be those memorable powder days that are that are going to stick in your mind, and you're going to want to come back for year after year. But I think it's definitely the people. For sure, that seems to be kind of like a recurring theme. Yeah. Where's your go-to spot on a pow day? You, you, you're in line. They open the gate. Everyone's got powder fever, and you're just like, we got to go get this spot before it gets speed out. Definitely. I mean, I always head first out into Westward Ho. You know, I'm, I'm a wildcat kind of guy right off the bat on a powder day. Uh, and then I kind of just try to stay ahead of the crowd out across the high tee. You know, whether it's getting out into Eagle's Nest, whether it's catching backside when the rope drops, um, it's always kind of staying ahead of the crowd. But my go-to on a powder day is definitely Westward Ho. Nice. I think I'm in the same boat. It's the best day after the Collins run. Yeah. Um, cool, Joe. Well, thanks for joining me, man. It's, Definitely. it's cool to have you here. For sure. Thanks uh, for having me on. Thanks for, thanks for passing the baton over. <laughs> we'll we'll catch Joe at the P-Dog. Yeah. Catch me at the P-Dog. We'll be there. Operate time. All right. Later, skiers. See you guys.